And in today's episode, among other things, you'll see the evolution of the mind over the machine. A Neuralink patient now controls a robot using only his thoughts. Tesla calls on shareholders and showcases the Optimus robot as the symbol of the next technological revolution. Technology identifies people without needing cameras or devices. It only needs your Wi-Fi to be on. One ring to rule them all, if you know, you know. The Pickering wireless mouse works for 30 days on a single charge. Nanotechnology was used to reverse Alzheimer's by restoring the brain's protective barrier. Let's understand all of this. Hello, impressed viewers. I'm Carlos Alves, and you're watching Amazing Reality. If you like our channel, go ahead and leave your like. If you can, share and leave a comment to help with engagement. Without further ado, let's get to the video. Imagine making coffee at home and someone not too far from your router manages to get your posture, your steps, and even your identity, all reconstructed by invisible waves. This is exactly the kind of scenario that researchers at Karlsruhe Institute of Technology, the Institute of Technology in Germany, are showing is already possible. The team at the Castell Institute for Information Security and Reliability, which is led by names like Trottensturf, and with contributions from Julian Torrett, has demonstrated that the method they developed, it is capable of identifying individuals using only Wi-Fi signals without the need for cameras, special sensors, or connected personal devices. The technique analyzes how radio signals spread and reflect in an environment, thus creating a kind of invisible image. It shows presence, posture, and movement very accurately, similar to a photograph. According to Professor Trotten, the process works similarly to a regular camera, but instead of light, it turns radio waves into a visual representation. And the most unsettling detail is this. It doesn't matter whether the person is carrying a device or not. Even if the devices are turned off, other nearby active routers or devices are enough to generate the necessary data. The team explains that by monitoring routine Wi-Fi feedback signals called beam-forming feedback information, beam-forming feedback information. It's possible to reconstruct a person's silhouette and movement. These signals are not encrypted and can be collected by third parties, making the method accessible and hard to detect. In tests with 197 participants, scientists identified individuals with nearly 100% accuracy. Even with different walking styles and from various angles, the researcher Julian Tollett warns that any common router can be turned into a surveillance tool. In a simple cafe out there with Wi-Fi enabled, it could theoretically record the presence of someone who passes by repeatedly without the person ever knowing about it. With wireless networks available almost everywhere from homes to public spaces, the risk that this technology could evolve into an invisible tracking system is very real. Although the study has scientific purposes, the group itself acknowledges the concerning potential of the discovery they made. Wi-Fi, a vital daily tool, could turn into a vague surveillance system, able to map and identify people in real time. For decades, the mouse symbolized human-machine interaction. This small accessory changed how we think about computers. But now, with the rise of augmented and virtual reality, it's starting to take on new forms. This ultralight ring controls screens and interfaces without a desk, wires, or frequent recharging. University of Tokyo researchers created the Pico Ring, a 5-gram wearable mouse that works for over 30 days on a single charge. Unlike conventional augmented reality controllers, which are heavy, limited, and short-lived, the Pico Ring uses a semi-passive system that consumes up to 500 times less energy than traditional Bluetooth devices. The innovation lies in what they called semi-passive inductive telemetry, which is semi-pitch. Instead of relying on powerful and energy-consuming transmissions, the ring uses distributed coils and capacitors, which naturally amplify magnetic fields thus sending data more efficiently. And with barely any energy use, to extend the range, researchers also created a relay bracelet, which acts as a link between the ring and the main device, an elegant solution that cuts consumption while keeping control precise. Professor Ryu Takahashi, the project leader, explained that the challenge was to balance power and lightness. Earlier smart rings had 50 or 60 milliwatt hour batteries, which severely limited their use. The Pico ring uses only 30 to 500 microwatts, hundreds of times less energy while maintaining performance. With this, the user can scroll, click, and move the cursor with subtle gestures, thus controlling augmented reality interfaces. In an almost natural way, it's still a prototype, okay? But the concept already points to a future where interacting with screens will be as intuitive as moving your hand. Besides augmented reality and virtual reality uses, 
The Pico Ring could gain biometric features, as its skin contact enables precise heart rate and stress measurement. The team also plans to eliminate the wristband, replacing it with conductive fabrics embedded in smart clothing. If the mouse connected humans to desktop computers, the Pico Ring promises to be the new link between the body and the digital world. And what if the Tesla shareholders' vote on November 6th was in practice a referendum on humanoid robots? Well, the company even made a step-by-step -step guide so no one is left out of this. You can even vote online or by phone. The stated goal is as follows, to approve, in quotes, critical measures, ensure incentives for the chief executive officer, and stability on the board for the next wave of growth. To package this voting request, Tesla showed a new video of the Optimus robot, and the subtext is clear. Artificial intelligence and robotics are the core of the thesis from now on. The clip features the robot speaking and presenting key actions. In real life, like rolling an iPad or removing paper from an envelope without wrinkles, Elon Musk said the robot's movements are now controlled by artificial intelligence inside it, instead of the previous teleoperation method. This is connected to Musk's compensation package tied to goals that are, well, huge. Reaching $8.5 in market value and $400 billion per year in revenue and among other things that he mentioned there. The video shows that vehicle autonomy, robotaxis, and energy solutions like solar storage are helpful, but crossing the line would need a scalable, useful humanoid robot with enough dexterity for factories, logistics, and repetitive tasks. And in this case, the robot's hand shows that it will arrive to take center stage. It closes the circuit between the artificial intelligence brain and the physical world. Some viewers of the video have even done the math. If Tesla actually makes a million humanoid robots annually, as Elon Musk has promised, that's about 20 to 25,000 per unit. The effective cost of robotic labor could drop to something close to $3 per hour. No human shifts, lower insurance, modular maintenance, and software-based training. This targets the company's biggest market human physical labor valued at $40 trillion annually. Elon Musk says tasks like pick and place can be standardized, but there's another side to it. A productivity leap on one side, employment shocks on the other. And Tesla isn't alone in this race. The video mentions competitors such as Figure, Aptronic, and several Chinese companies in the same race. Meanwhile, artificial intelligence is advancing rapidly. OpenAI was said to acquire a 10% stake in advanced micro devices to boost chip access, though NVIDIA is still the main supplier. This is a background that helps explain why Tesla is pairing the vote now with an optimist. More convincing. Elon Musk's idea is very clear. The vote is to unlock the strategy, the demo is to make the future tangible and the huge metrics. It's to anchor your ambition. If it works, Tesla can push the boundaries between software, hardware, and labor, like we've rarely seen in history. And are you seeing this union there between the assembly, artificial intelligence, and humanoid robots? He really believes that Optimus will come as a useful product in time to improve this trend. How can I say it? And naturally, this also cuts thousands of jobs. Well, tell me in the comments, do you believe in this? Or is there still something missing for this robot to leave the lab? Meanwhile, a Chinese robot is gaining attention because until not long ago, it seemed too simple to be impressive. Picking up tennis balls, for example. But what makes the achievement of the humanoid Ollie from the company Line Act Dynamics something truly remarkable? He does all this alone, no remote control or motion capture, just perception, balance and autonomous reasoning. The demo video shows a 1.65 meter, 55 kilogram robot finding, following and picking up balls on the floor. First, the person teases it by shaking a ball in front of it. Oli follows the movements with its eyes, or rather with its depth cameras, which act as its eyes. And it reacts in real time. When the ball is thrown, it takes a few firm steps, adjusts posture and bends to pick it up. It almost looks like an old man with back pain, but does a good job. And this happens even if the object changes position. A short time later, dozens of tennis balls cover the floor and the robot picks them up one by one, walking steadily, repeating the gesture with near human precision. This fluidity is the result of a highly modular design and engineering focused on what Linex calls agile movement redefined. Each leg of Ollie has six degrees of freedom and the whole body has 31 active joints, allowing it to bend, 
reach, and move. With a natural coordination, essential for balance. While manipulating objects, his perception system uses motion sensors and Intel RealSense cameras. It even supports LiDAR, letting him create a detailed 3D map of the environment. But what really sets Ollie apart is his built-in intelligence, that is, the ability to, in quotes, think with the body. He doesn't just follow pre-recorded commands. He interprets space, makes real-time decisions, and adjusts movements, which engineers say makes him more like a biological organism. According to Linex Dynamics, this is the first step in their mission to reduce the barrier of reinforcement learning and to bring humanoid robotics to full autonomy. Besides physical dexterity, the robot was designed for integration and continuous development. It connects via Ethernet and USB 3.0 is compatible with platforms like Isaac, Sim, Mujoko, and Gazebo and can receive new motion libraries through over-the-air updates. This makes it an open platform for researchers and engineers to develop new skills, from industrial tasks to human interaction simulations. Oli might just look like a robot picking up tennis balls right now, but what's behind it is a very clear example of a new stage that robotics is reaching, where machines not only obey, but already understand the world around them. What if slowing Alzheimer's depended on the vessels protecting neurons, not the neurons themselves? Scientists from Catalonia and China have developed a strategy that does exactly that. And the results and tests with mice were quite impressive. Nothing more, nothing less than the complete reversal of Alzheimer-like symptoms after just three doses of a new therapy. Based on nanotechnology, the innovation uses what researchers call supramolecular drugs, a class of nanoparticles that not only carry drugs, they are the drug itself. Unlike traditional approaches, they target neurons directly. This technology acts on the blood-brain barrier, that defense system that separates the brain from the blood. When this barrier fails, toxins such as beta amyloid build up, harming neural connections and speeding memory loss. In the experiment, scientists treated mice genetically modified to produce high beta amyloid levels, simulating human Alzheimer's. Within an hour of the first injection, beta amyloid levels fell by 50% to 60%. But the most surprising thing came with time. Elderly mice equivalent to humans about 90 years old went back to behaving like young and healthy individuals. This happened after only a few months of treatment. The key is reactivating a natural system, in quotes, cleaning of the brain. The nanoparticles restore the function of a protein called low-density lipoprotein receptor-related protein one which normally acts as a kind of molecular gatekeeper that removes toxic waste from the mind. In Alzheimer's brains, the gatekeeper stops working, causing waste to build up. These new supramolecular drugs mimic the natural ligands of low-density lipoprotein receptor-related protein, one thus reactivating the clearance pathway and restoring the blood vessel's ability to eliminate toxins. According to the researchers, the process works like a biological switch. When switched back on, the brain's self-cleaning system regains balance and stops the disease from progressing. This approach interrupts the cycle of vascular degradation and neurodegeneration. Unlike treatments that just reduce symptoms, this one targets the root cause. If the same results are reproduced in humans, this technique could redefine the treatment of Alzheimer's which currently affects more than 6.7 million people, only in the United States. The concept of moving objects with your mind using technology has always felt like science fiction. That was until Elon Musk introduced Neuralink to the world. Now, the billionaire's company? They just showed a patient with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis using a brain implant to control a robotic arm, fully autonomously doing daily tasks like heating food, opening the fridge, and drinking from a cup. Nick Ray is the eighth volunteer to get the coin-sized N1 brain chip with 100 to 28 ultra-thin wires that are connected directly to the brain's motor cortex. These wires, each one thinner than a human hair, they have around a thousand electrodes that detect neural impulses and turn them into digital commands via Bluetooth. In practice, patients' thoughts become precise actions, as in this case, operate the robotic arm, pick up objects, and maneuver their wheelchair. During testing, the patient displayed impressive dexterity, moving 39 cylinders in five minutes, and performed complex tasks like turning pins, jumping, and positioning pieces. In his symbolic moment, he used the robotic arm with his thoughts to lift the cup and drink unaided. This advancement is part of the clinical study called Convoy, approved by the Food and Drug Administration, which aims at first to restore the autonomy of people with severe paralysis. It's an important milestone, yes, not just for Neuralink, but also for the entire brain-computer interface field. 
a field that has managed to transform thoughts into digital commands in a safe and continuous way. However, Elon Musk's company's path was far from simple. For example, in 2022, the Food and Drug Administration rejected the project over safety concerns. Risks included the implant's wires detaching from brain tissue, which later occurred. Nolan Jarbalg, one of the first patients, lost about 85% of his implant's chip connections. But Neuralink reacted quickly, and instead of removing the device and implanting another one, Maybe they developed a software solution that reinterpreted the remaining signals that kept the patient's control active. With tests already done in the United States, United Kingdom, and Canada, the project is now revealing something profound, the possibility of a direct bridge between the mind and the machine, and this without needing muscles or voice. And although there are still ethical and medical challenges, the image of a man moving the world around him with just his thoughts and a machine shows that technology is creating a new world. Something truly impressive. Boston Dynamics' humanoid robot Atlas has just made a major leap towards a future where machines manipulate the world with the same precision and also sensitivity. Can we say that a human being does? The company's new version has three-fingered hands, tactile sensors, and palm cameras, letting the robot lift anything from heavy to fragile items with great control. For more than a decade, Atlas became well known for its physical agility, running, jumping, and performing those parkour acrobatics. Now, now the focus shifts a lot, moving to the most challenging part of robotics, touch. Engineer Alberto Rodriguez says the claws or hands are among the most complex parts of a humanoid robot, and rightly so, okay? Every centimeter of this new hand is filled with actuators, sensors, and cameras which need to work in total harmony to perform smooth and precise movements. Mechanical engineer Carl Prince introduced the second generation hand, featuring seven degrees of freedom, seven actuators, and a functional thumb. This thumb lets Atlas handle objects carefully, adjusting the forces needed. Now it can grab, rotate, stack, and transfer items of different sizes and shapes very securely. Rodriguez explains everything from sturdy boxes to fragile items. We have now discovered that three fingers are the minimum needed to reproduce most human grips. But the revolution doesn't stop at the hardware, all right? Boston Dynamics is adding a new large behavior model to Atlas, developed with the Research Institute. This artificial intelligence was trained on large data sets of human actions, allowing the robot to learn new behaviors without needing to be manually reprogrammed. In the video, Atlas naturally organizes baskets, sorts objects, and stacks items. He does this by observing, adjusting, and acting autonomously in a continuous cycle of perception and action. This combination of strength, precision, and adaptive learning is what puts Atlas ahead. This new generation of humanoid robots is making an impact far beyond labs. Boston Dynamics plans to introduce this technology to factories, warehouses, and homes. This opens the way for machines that can truly work side-by-side -side with humans in tasks that require both delicacy and power. Well, did you like this episode? If so, remember that all the sources, you can check everything here in the description, all right? Thank you very much for staying with me until now. Click on one of the two suggestions on your screen and I'll see you in the next one.